Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another uh, lesson for our 2D hack and slash game made in Game Maker. In this lesson, we're going to be covering, we're going to be adding in the start for our attack state. So this is a, this is a course that I'm doing that is kind of a pay what you want. So if you want to support the course, there will be two links in the description that you can use to support the course. One of them is itch.io where you can donate and the other one is my pixel art course where you can purchase my pixel art course at a discount and both of those things uh, go to supporting this course let's get started so we're going to I'm going to do a little bit of a challenge here so in the last in the last lesson we talked about adding our role state and we we implemented our state machine our finite state machine here so i'm going to do a challenge here and it's actually going to be a, a bigger challenge so if you get stuck on it that's okay but the challenge is going to be seeing if you can set up a state for our skeletons attack one so we've got this attack one animation i want to see if you can set up a state similar to our role that uh, does the attack one animation and it will transition from you'll transition from the move state similar to the way that the role does here uh, but you'll transition into an attack one state and uh, then animate that and then in your end state here or your animation end you will transition back to the move state from the attack state so uh, pause your video right now and see if you can get that working uh, by yourself. Okay, I'm going to help you do it now if you were unable to do it. That's okay because it's a little bit tricky. It's not, it's not going to be an easy thing. So the first thing that I want to do is set up our new state. So we'll say case attack 1 and then I'm going to add a region region and we'll call this attack one state then we'll add an end region and of course if you're in game maker studio 1.4 then you won't do the regions and i'll add a break here so we'll put our attack one code inside of here so we need to set up our our origin on the attack one sprite. So let's do what we've been doing for our other ones. We should be able to do the same one. So we've got our idle here. This one's 24 and 48. Let's see how that looks. We'll do 24 and 48. And that doesn't look too bad. Yep, that looks about right. So we'll do that 24 and 48. We'll save. And we'll come back up into here. And inside of our move state, we need to add a transition to our attack one state. So we'll add a new bit of code here. If keyboard, keyboard, check, pressed, VK. And for this one, I'm going to do L shift. We'll be changing these a little bit later. We'll do our curly brackets here. And I forgot to do these ones like that. So I'll fix that real quick. Image index equals zero. And if you remember why we need to do that, it's to make sure that our animation always starts on the first frame. State equals attack one semicolon okay so then let's uh, hide this region and save the game we'll come into our attack one and it's going to be very similar to our role so let's look at what's in our role here so we shouldn't need to move so we don't have to worry about any of this but we do need to set our sprite so we'll say sprite index equals s skeleton attack one 
image speed equals 0 0.6. We'll try that for our speed. And that's all we should need for the attack one because we don't need to worry about moving while we're attacking. So we can ignore that code. Okay. So now we should have a transition from our move state to our attack one state, but we need a transition back to the move state when the attack one state finishes its animation. So we'll do the same thing over here. We'll say if state equals attack one, state equals move, image index equals zero run the game and we can press play and let's see we should be able to press shift to enter an attack state so now we have rolling and attacking inside of our game and this is already starting to look really really cool so if you were, like I said, that was a tricky challenge. So if you weren't able to do it by yourself, that's okay. Uh, sometimes it's not whether or not you can actually do it by yourself. Sometimes it's whether or not you try. Uh, so that's the important thing to remember here is because um, a lot of the time when I show you the solution to the problem, uh, you're going to have more context if you've already tried to solve it. So thank you so much for watching this lecture, and I will see you guys in the next one.